Hi, I'm Paul Barry. Welcome to Media Bites. And uh, if you're looking at the nose, uh, that's skin cancer. So remember to wear your sunscreen. Meanwhile, did you hear about the bomb in Parliament? Julia Banks dropped a bombshell of her own. Effective immediately, I will serve as a member of this House of Representatives as an independent representative. Wow, Julia Banks has quit the libs. So, what did they call it? Yes. A bombshell. Her bombshell. The Banks bombshell. Yes, that's the word, but who's to blame? Paul Kelly and the Australian reckoned it was the Liberal Party. But Sky's Paul Murray was having none of that as he bashed Banks for betrayal in a seven-minute tirade. Julia Banks is a rat. Julia Banks is a rat. Julia Banks is a rat. But wait, there was more. She has effectively become an Australian political suicide bomber. Yep, Paul reckons that Banks Sheila, as he calls her, is no better than an ISIS bomber. Julia Banks is a rat. She's a suicide bomber and she's done it for Malcolm Turnbull. And earlier on Sky, another Malcolm hater was contemplating revenge. If she does run, I'll thoroughly enjoy getting out on the hustings and uh, going up against her Absolutely. and uh, supporting anyone Absolutely. but her. But now, let's go to South Australia and get to the fact of the matter. Health Minister Stephen Wade joins us now in our studio. Good morning, Minister. Good morning, David. Yep, Minister Wade went on the ABC to talk budget blowout at the Royal Adelaide Hospital. Which activities will you stop? The fact of the matter is that we're focusing on, on eliminating inefficiencies. So, will the government also be cutting services? The, the fact of the matter is that the, the, the plan is going to to drive the reduction of inefficiencies. The fact of the matter is that we'll continue to have to evolve our services set. Yep, the fact of the matter, and that's the fact of the matter, was set again, and again, and again, and again. <laughs> and that's the fact of the matter. The fact of the matter is, and the fact of the matter is, well, the fact of the matter is that he said the fact of the matter 25 times, and that is a fact of the matter. But now, to an exclusive, a Seven News First, with banned cricket captain Steve Smith in secret talks with coach Justin Langer. Wow, let's take a look. Off the pitch, but still in the loop, new coach Justin Langer checking in on the former captain. Gee, how did they get the camera so close? And wait. Just catching up for a coffee and having a chat. Secret talks, they're sitting outside, eating lunch. No wonder it got slammed on Twitter. And in other Secret Smith exclusives, News Corp in June had him drinking a beer in the pub. But now to Britain's former Foreign Secretary, Boris. I'm here in Lisbon, in Portugal. Filming for Twitter and showing how smart he is. Through to the Second World War, when of course this was a, a place that uh, was... Uh, I'm trying to think what, what happened in the Second World War. I cut all this. So what did we do in the Second World War? It was, it was neutral, wasn't it? Luckily, he knows more about trade. So Portugal is our fourth biggest trading partner. Trading partner. We are, we are Portugal's fourth largest. Portugal is not our fourth largest. Whoops! So let's go for the jackpot. James Bond himself was said to have been born in Estoril, and today James Bond. See, he wasn't born. Well, you can't put one thing in my brain. No, 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 I know. And then correct the idea, me. the idea for James Bond was born. The idea for the James, idea Bond, was for James born. Bond was born. Yes, the fact of the matter is, Boris looks a bit of a dummy. And you can see more dummies on Media Watch on Monday night on the ABC 9.15. Don't miss it. 